Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will see the performance and the review of this uh, dual channel PWM generator. So this generator has the 37 segment display, 3 keys, this is the power input and also we can connect the power input here as well. Uh, this is the regulator and uh, here, th here is the output. If you want higher PWM output voltage, then you will have to connect the V plus here and ground here. But before that, you have to cut this track. So let's see how it performs. So let's power it on. With set key, we can change the frequency. For uh, This is the frequency 1. Again, this is the duty cycle 1. This is the frequency 2 and duty cycle 2. So we can change the frequency and duty cycle for frequency 1. And here, FA2 DU2 for frequency 2. So let's change it for FA1. So you just have to change the option here. After selecting the menu, you just have to wait for a couple of seconds. Then you will enter into that option and you can change the values. Now to change the value, you just have to press up and down keys for incrementing and decrementing respectively. Now I have set the frequency to 210 and we will see how much we get on the DSO. So let's connect the DSO. I will adjust the cursor now and as you can see on the DSO we are getting the frequency as a 207.5 Hz so there is an error of 2.5 Hz so ok I uh, will change the frequency and again we will see how much we are getting Okay, the frequency set was 419 and we are getting the frequency as a 413.2. So I will say So I will say that uh, this model is kind of okay okay and we can use for general purpose application but not as a accurate frequency generator but so wherever we want some approximate frequency at that place we can use this generator So thank you for watching, please like, share, comment and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Thank you.